With this Mother's Day, what do you want your mom to know? So many words in the dictionary that you could choose from right now. <laughs>
why do we why do we as Christians believe this? Because that doesn't make sense. And she'd be like, you got a point there. And I'm like, hmm. Also, my mom's beautiful. Oh and, my uh, gosh. No, my, I'm very. The, the girls in my family. My mom is more. My sisters than are beautiful. <laughs> what, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Um, Steven Universe. Steven in the Universe. I haven't heard of it. What does he do? Like, like four crystal gems, and they go and save a day. I think he described a sandwich. He said four <laughs> crackers and jam and it saves the day. So he eats crackers. He like, he's like the new Popeye. Do you like jam and crackers? Yep. Okay. Oh, who doesn't? So, they're either so good. Full circle. My mom, like my, so my friends in high school, how they thought my mom was so cool. My mom. She must be got it. Go ahead. She must you have it. Had go, it. Ah! You can do it. <laughs> she must have it going on if your best friends wanted to hang out with her so much. I mean, did you say that? That was really, like, sly of you. She must have it going on. She must have it going on. What are you trying to say, Elijah? Are you trying to... Come on, Elijah. Elijah! No, so what I'm saying... So my friends from high school, they were like... They would ask me, right? We would ask, like, how old's your mom, right? And and they... (laughs) <laughs> That's why we have you on the show. Man, my mother does not look her age at all. Yeah. First day of college when she uh, uh, dropped me off in my dorm, this guy... This Back in our, San Francisco. In San Francisco. This guy, um, he looks at her and goes, you're beautiful. Like one of those students there. Yeah. Do you see her this beautifully be- caramelized I'm going face? to age very well. If I get yeah. my mom jeans, I'm going to age very well. So I've also, fun fact, every time I'm going to date with someone, I look and try to find their wrinkle lines because we need to, we need to be aged at the, like, the same pace, you know? Like, oh no, it's true. Gosh. It's true. So, uh, Lachlan, how old is your mom? 13? 39. 39. And how, ta- right. how tall is your mom? <laughs> wow. Wait, like this tall? I think. Oh, okay. Oh, it's going, she, she just shrinks? Sorry. Okay. Well, you heard it here, folks. Fairies are real. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your mom from? From mountains. The mountains. She's from the mountains. A mountain mom. That is so awesome. How about this? Um, can you give us with hand measurements how much you love your mom? Yeah. Oh, that's Not such much. a good size. Oh. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of love. Where's that love come from? This might be a deeper question than I thought. <laughs> from my hand. From your hand. Your hand. That was the best answer ever. Is that because you hug your mom? Do you hold your mom's hand? Yep. That's the best. Well, does your mom read you bedtime stories? No. Okay, well, uh, (laughs) I love having his mom right there. Would would you like your mom to read you bedtime stories? Yes. We do lots of qualitative data. I just, on I our just show. added another thing to uh, <laughs> Heather's schedule. <laughs> like what kind of stories? Like any story. <laughs> He's like down for anything. My mom, she had this amazing gift, still does, of being just so compassionate. Mm-hmm. You know, we screw up all the time, right? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a screw up a lot of the times. And my mom raised me in a way where it was very comfortable to let her know of my weaknesses and to let her know of things that I did wrong. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the things that I love my mom is that she was very approachable and very Christ-like in the way that I was like, mom, I didn't do this correctly. And she was like, that's okay. And sometimes it wasn't okay. And she was like, look, we don't do that in our family, but there is a way for you to be better. And she would yeah. like always lay it out. And it always was very compassionate, loving, and genuine. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> when, when I joined the church um, and I told my mother, I was expecting her to react in, a, in, in not a very good way because most people didn't react in a very good way. I mean, she still thought it was weird. I, I don't, I, I'm not going to paint a foot. She's like, you know, that's kind of a weird thing. But she was still um, accepting it. I was, you know, way afraid to tell her. And like, my sisters were also a lot, you know, very accepting. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Is she good at cooking? Yeah. Yeah. Is she good? Is she great at, at cooking or good? Good. Okay. <laughs> Would you say she's excellent? She's mediocre? <laughs> Or she's just good enough. Good enough. Well, he has no idea what he just said. So basically, I want to I want to create a summary of Lachlan's mom. She's she's good enough at cooking. She's from the mountains. She's from the mountains. She's really nice. She oh they hug and they she's, hold hands. And she's this tall. She's not this tall. How much do you love your mom? A lot. Yeah.
no matter how tall you are or where you're from. Or what kind of sport you play or what kind of food you make and how good it is. You still have love from your children. <laughs> That's right. So we love all of our moms. And this Mother's Day, we want all the mothers out there to be very, very, very happy and know that there's so much love coming from Three Mormons. Yeah, and make sure on this day, if you forgot, you should call your mom. Mm -hmm. Happy New Mother's Day! Happy New Mother's Day? New Year's? Yeah. Happy New Year's. Happy, it's a happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa's Day. Happy Kwanzaa's Day. Happy Kwanzaa's Day. <laughs> nice, I did. Awesome. Good job. You were, you were a natural.